so as I said, I haven't noticed as much progress in the last year as I would have initially hoped for. Like, I would have hoped I would have had a much more bubbly personality on camera, which I'm more like with my friends in real life. But when I'm with strangers or just in the camera, for example, like, I get all shy and I don't really speak a lot and it's all pretty monotone anyway. But there have been some really small things that I do think that I have managed to be able to do this year that I probably wouldn't have done before. Like, one of those things is back in November, I joined this app called Support You, which is basically like an accountability buddy app where they match you with someone around the world. And for a week, you just kind of text back and forth trying to encourage each other to reach a certain goal that you have in mind. And even though that was just through text and it was only like once a day, it was still a lot for me to handle. But since I've been making YouTube videos for a couple of months, I felt more confident that that wouldn't be so bad. And it wasn't. I mean, I did quit like a couple of months ago, but I don't think that was because it was too much to handle. I just didn't really use the app anymore, so. Also, I made a video a couple months ago about how I started using Rainbow BFF. I was talking to several girls who seemed really cool, but I just didn't know how to move forward with the whole pandemic and not being able to meet in person, so I think the conversations just fell flat after that and we didn't really keep in touch anymore. Also, at the beginning of the year, I submitted one of my poems to a literary magazine. They didn't accept it, which I was expecting, but just getting over that fear of being rejected is really important. I haven't submitted anything else since then, probably because I, probably because I haven't been writing as much lately. It is something I want to do again, and I really think that having been through it once and knowing that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. A lot of authors have that fear of rejection so much that they actually never end up sending anything they've written out. So yeah, it'd be nice to do it again, but then I do have to actually write something for that to matter, so I guess I better do that. And speaking of poetry, I've actually been using Google speech to text feature, which doesn't seem like that would be a big deal, but actually it's a huge one for me because I just feel so awkward talking out loud even when there's no one around, so just being able to do that to write my poems or short stories down is a real improvement for me. I mean, Google doesn't understand me for a while because of my speech problem, but at least I do manage to do that and I don't have that fear associated with it anymore. And the biggest one for me is definitely being on Twitter. I've avoided social media for most of my life because, well, it's social. And I actually made a Twitter account, I think, about a month before I actually started making YouTube videos. But I didn't really use it as much as I do now. At first, it was kind of just place to write down my thoughts and I kind of banked on the fact that I didn't really have many followers because cause if I did I wouldn't have actually felt confident enough to post anything. But recently I've started making it a point to reply to as many people as 
close as possible just because I know there's a lot of thoughts going through my head before I post it like well basically just a bunch of what if scenarios that which probably won't come true and even if they did it probably wouldn't be as bad as I think it will so just making yourself do that over and over again gets you used to the fact that your thoughts are not really reflective of reality and it kind of reprograms your brain to stop focusing on those thoughts because if they're not coming true then it's just really a waste of energy so it doesn't need to have them in the first place so those are just a few things that i managed to do this year again it's not as much as i was hoping for back when i first started a year ago but i think at least it's something and hopefully there'll be even more progress in the next year